all the friends that I've made through uh, being into cars since the loss of my mom um, really brought me out of my dark spot in, in life and low spot in life. Um, I'm blessed to have so many great car friends and I consider them family. Um, and I know several of them have come to me in times of need and my word of advice to them is always the same as what happened with me is find something that you enjoy and have a passion for and go with it and pursue that and that will bring you out of whatever low point or whatever hardship you are going through in life. I have a 2020 Shelby GT500 Mustang. Um, it's a grabber lime and it has black uh, vinyl racing stripes. Um, it has a 5.2 liter V8 engine that puts out 760 horsepower. Um, it's completely stock. I did have clear bra done by Nano Pros and it was also ceramic coated by Nano Pros and also um, Sun Escape, which also did the window tint on the vehicle. Just had it a little over two weeks. It has factory black aluminum wheels. So it has uh, Brembo, red Brembo 16.2 inch uh, brakes, um, a six piston, and on the rear it has a four piston Brembo brakes. The interior is uh, black leather. Um, it has a uh, rear seat, black leather. It also has the snake signifying that it's a Shelby GT500 Mustang on the front two seats. Uh, it also has carbon fiber trim, um, has the Bang and Olfhausen sound system um, and track package. It does not have, but it has um, handling package and uh, performance and technology package. The feel of the Shelby is, it's, it's very exhilarating, um, very loud. Um, it, you know you are behind something that has a whole lot of power um, with the 760 horsepower. But it also, for a Mustang, it being my first Mustang, it also handles extremely well. I would not say it handles as good as a Ferrari, but it does handle extremely well. When I first started Cars & Coffee Morrisville, I had no idea that it would become as big and popular as it is today. Um, it, it, was, it was great to see that. My initial goal in starting Cars & Coffee Morrisville was just to bring people together that love cars as much as I do and to unite the car community. But as it grew um, through the years and, or the months and the years, um, it's, it's, we now have almost 5,000 followers uh, for Cars and Coffee Morrisville. Mm -hmm. 
So my mom was, she was my rock. She was, uh, she was everything. Um, before she passed away in 2012, I would call and check on her every day um, just to make sure she's okay. Even though she didn't live that far from where I did, it was about 30 minutes. Um, and then when she, um, when she got sick and she passed away, it was, it was like a piece of me was missing because uh, she completed me. She was, um, she was somebody I looked to for support and always answer questions that I had and help me make big life decisions. Um, but when she passed away, that there was a void in my life. And what helped me with that void was actually getting back into the car scene in the spring of 2013. And every car decision I would make, I would always ask the question, is this something my mom would want me to do? And, um, and you know, there were always little subtle hints that said, okay, it's okay to do this car, get this car, or that car. And I always felt like even though she physically wasn't here, that um, spiritually she was always with me in whatever decision I made after that. So when I was young, um, my dad was into cars and that was originally what sparked my interest in vehicles and cars and uh, of sort. And then after high school, my first sports car was a 2000 Honda Prelude. Um, it was black and had a black interior. And then after that, I kind of got away from the car scene for a while until my mom uh, passed away in December of 2012. And then the following spring, I uh, bought my next sports car, which was a 2012 Lexus ISF. It was white, with white interior. It had a five liter V8 engine that put out 416 horsepower. And after that, uh, Lexus came out with a two-door coupe that was the Lexus RCF and uh, purchased that in December of 2014. And uh, after that, I started getting into more going to cars and coffee events, uh, first at Waverly Place in Cary, and then the Raleigh Grand Cars and Coffee, which was in Raleigh, North Carolina. After that one stopped, I decided to start my own Cars and Coffee in December of 2015. And um, we first were at the Morrisville Outlet Mall, and then we uh, were at a couple different locations, and we're currently at an office building, which is at the corner of Page Road and uh, Miami Boulevard, and uh, right across the Wake County line in Durham, North Carolina. And uh, we meet the first Saturday of every month from 8 to 11 a.m. Cars and Coffee represents uh, just a car enthusiast and it's open to everybody that just wants to come look at cars as well. Um, we want people to come out that have classic cars as far as new and also new cars. Um, we, um, uh, we also try to give back to the community every December. We do uh, Salvation Army or um, and then we do, we also uh, have used the Durham Rescue Mission is what we used last year. And it was uh, toys for tots and toys for veterans um, that have needy families and stuff like that. Right, so some of the cars I've owned, um, I, after the RCF, I owned a 2018 uh, Ferrari 488 GTB. Um, it was white with red interior and then after the Ferrari, uh, the first Ferrari, uh, they came out with what's called a 488 Pista, which was the track version of the 488 GTB. And so finally, um, in November of 2019, I found one in Newport Beach, California. It was a red uh, 488 Pista that I purchased and then um, enjoyed the car, loved the car. Um, it, it had black interior, it was red with black interior, and it had um, two solid black racing stripes. And then unfortunately, on my way to the Cars and Coffee that I coordinate, Morrisville, I was um, on my way to the car event, and uh, the back end just went hard right and sent me into the guardrail at 60 miles an hour. So it was um, probably a little too cold for the tires that morning on the pavement. So that's probably what caused the accident. So uh, after that, I purchased a 2020 C63 AMG Mercedes. Uh, and to this day, I still want to purchase another Ferrari. But in the meantime, I did purchase the 2020 uh, Shelby GT500 um, that I thoroughly enjoy and I thoroughly love. But 
at some point I would like to get another uh, Ferrari, whether it be a 488 Pista or a 488 GTB or something else. My advice to anybody currently going through a hard time would be be the change, uh, be a leader. Um, things only change if you create that change. My name is Rob Ayers. I'm from Hillsborough, North Carolina, and I'm a real person with a real story with a real ride.